Park. Are you getting out today? Yes, it's gray, but maybe you can get out and get moving in some way. Gyms started reopening a few weeks ago, as you know. Have you been back there yet? If you're tired of firing up those videos to work out at home, there are things you can do to set yourself up for success and getting back into a routine. Health coach Mike Granado is back on Daybreak from Community Health. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, happy to. There are plenty of people who have really fallen out of that good rhythm that they may have had before all this went down four months ago. So what do you want to say to them? I would say, first of all, start small. You know, if you're worried about getting back into the gym, just start moving for 10, 15 minutes most every day doing things that you enjoy. Because if we start doing things that we enjoy, the chances are that we keep them up over the next few weeks, few months. If we start biting off more than we can chew, you know, doing too intense a cardio, lifting too heavy a weight, not only do we run the risk of injury, but also that mental block oh, that can sure. keep you at home and not going back to the gym. That's so key. How are you going to force yourself into establishing that, what they say, you need 14 days to set a routine. Yeah. If you're not enjoying yourself, then what's the point? You're not going to return. Um, right. You have some good tips for kind of getting the bang for your buck. If you want to kind of lay out a rundown for your own workout that's going to be efficient. Sure. So we want to hit cardiovascular strengthening exercise and also a little bit of flexibility and mobility. You know, if we don't do cardio, we're not going to get the cardiovascular endurance that we want. If we don't do strength training, we're not going to be as strong as we like. And if we don't do that flexibility and mobility, we're going to wake up super stiff in the morning. So give yourself a little bit of everything during your exercise routine. And actually, one of my favorite cool down stretches to do is a hip mobility exercise where you just put your foot on your knee and you just push down for about 30 seconds and then come back up. Let's have you do that one more time because sure. we were watching some videos. So you can just be sitting on your couch just after couch. working out. Yep, keep your core nice and strong. Or find a bench in the gym. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Or find a bench in the gym, something stable where you yeah. want to have a good base. And just put your foot on your knee and let your knee fall down. You can press a little You're bit. You're going to feel the resistance your body provides oh, yeah. naturally. So you don't want to overdo it, right? Exactly. If you press too much, you're going to pull something. But just let it naturally fall. So this goes right into what you're saying. So ultimately, this is about caring for yourself. Absolutely. You know, the, you're exercising for your own well-being. But within that exercise, you're caring for yourself by warming up properly, cooling down, and uh, stretching. Exactly. So a warm-up should mimic the movement that you're about to do in the gym. We don't want to do a warm-up that doesn't warm up the muscles we're about to use. A good cool down is going to get our heart rate back down and just let the body get back to normal. And then most people are like, should I take an off day or should I not? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Please do. Listen to your body. Listen to your body. You've worked that body over the course of the week. You've stretched muscles that need that time to repair. So take a rest day or two during the Recovery week. Recovery is key. And force yourself to like beet juice like I have. Shockingly, I drink that <laughs> once in a while. It helps with recovery. There you go. Mike, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks Good to for see you again. Me. Scott Wilson.